So the Ribbles Dale Stakes kicks off day two of Royal Ascot then. This is for three-year-old fillies. Although it's been open to older horses this season. The top one is Lift Up, John Morgan, Sky Blue Knights, Darren Thompson, Avalanche, Django, Daddy's Little Girl, Paul Rhodes, Headmaster, Django, Amazon Warrior, Jim Murray, Bombs Away for Graham Clutterbuck, Foghorn George for Derek Hinton, Tango Alpha, Tam King and Gone Fishing, Obi-Wan. So ten of them then facing the startup. The Ascot Sun. And away they go. With Sky Blue Knights running the first to show. And on the inside in the yellow jacket, Headmaster. And Sky Blue Knights and Headmaster are going to dispute the lead then through the first couple of furlongs. Then about a length and a half clear of the remainder are headed by Foghorn George. Bombs away is also close up. The grey in this race is lift up for John Morgan. Looking towards the back of the field, there's two in a yellow avalanche and gone fishing. Avalanche the second, Django Horse and gone fishing for the handicapper. Serious chill. So it's Headmaster that's got the lead then now by a good three lengths. Wide on the track then is Tango Alpha. Lift up has made a forward move and is no second to share a second place. Daddy's little girl is also close up. The one that's got the rail is Sky Blue Knights. Foghorn George is nearer the back on the front. Just being pushed along a little bit there was bombs away. But it's Headmaster who leads by about two then. As they come past the mile pole, Headmaster leads from lift up in second. Wide on the track, Tango Alpha is third. Danny's little girl is fourth. And then Amazon Warrior gone fishing to make a bit of a forward move around the outside and bombs away. Has now dropped to the back of the field. But it's Headmaster that leads by about two. To lift up in second. And again, for another couple of lengths back to Tango Alpha. Then comes Daddy's little girl, Sky Blue Knights has still got the rail. After that one, he's gone fishing. Amazon Warrior's still there. Foghorn George trying to make a forward move. Bombs away the back marker, but they've got to get to this Headmaster. Headmaster, the leader then. Strange name for a filly, but it's in the lead by about three lengths. With lift up in second, then comes Foghorn George. Amazon Warriors after that one. And it's Headmaster that leads then by about four lengths to lift up in second. Foghorn George is now making a forward move and coming through to try and challenge. Tango Alpha still there. So is Amazon Warrior. They come down past the four furlong pole now then. And Headmaster just being shook up a little bit to try and keep up with that lead now tango alpha is trying to close in second lift up's trying to go with that one foghorn george is still there on the inside amazon warrior on the outside we switch angles towards the back of the field avalanche is the back marker but it's headmaster in front with foghorn george looking to be going well lift up his next in tango alpha the one that's struggling for a room there was amazon warrior going around the outside now bombs always trying to get into it and sky blue knights have switched off the rail they're well inside the final two furlongs down then. and headmaster is yet to be headed headmaster's in the lead headmaster's teaching them all a lesson here, Headmaster from Tango Alpha, Foghorn George, and lift up their race into the final furlong. And Headmaster doing his own work this one as he races up towards the line. And it's going to be Headmaster, looks like he's going to take this one and one inside the final half furlong there. Headmaster just beginning to tie up Tango Alpha, one last lunge on the outside, but oh, he might have got up. It's close. Tango Alpha may just have got up on the line. Is he taking it easy on Headmaster? Could be detention for the jockey. He may have always been beaten, I think. I think he's been beaten. Tango Alpha has stolen that one right on the line. Let's wait for the card. It is. It's a short head win for Tango Alpha for Tam King. And some curious... Well, that boat race was turned into a handicap. I'm not sure what's going on there. Why the Ribblesdale Stakes is a handicap. It's normally a group two. I don't know what's going on there then, but... Uh, Maybe something's changed that I didn't know about. Tango off for Tam King, the winner. Headmaster for Django, second. Foghorn George for Derek Hinton, third. Lift up for John Morgan was fourth. And Sky Blue Knights for Darren Thompson was fifth.